welcome back to the channel y'all i am so excited to be ending the year with my faves of 2020 and this is going to be a three three part video i'm going to be letting you guys know if i'm going to be bringing those products into 2021 or if they are going to stay right here in 2020 with this ratchet year so if that sounds like something you want to see keep watching So in this video today, I'm going to be giving you guys all of the shampoos and all of the conditioners. Cause basically like that's how you start your wash day. So it's gonna go in order of like start to finish. No particular order, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you guys have not watched my very recent video where I did a review on the Natural Club's new Ava Kiwi yeah, is that it? Yeah, Ava Kiwi line, which is a, a revamped version of their original avocado collection. Check that video out because I literally just did that video. So that's their conditioner. And the only thing that I would say about this conditioner, I obviously love the whole entire line and my wash day was amazing. If I remember correctly, this conditioner I had to use a lot and I had trouble with detangling. This is typically the step that I detangle my hair. So that's something I'm always looking for when I am picking a conditioner. I strongly suggest if you don't detangle your hair with conditioner that you should try it out and see if you lose less hair y'all know that this year i've dealt with a lot of shedding and losing a whole lot of hair but this one unfortunately is not gonna make it on my 2021 list like i said it took a lot of product and i just feel like i have better conditioners that will give me exactly what i'm looking for so so here i have the canvas beauty full bloom amplifying conditioner and then i have the two in one shampoo by unicurl i actually never did a review on this company on my channel but i tried them off camera and the shampoo i remember that it was it was i me personally i don't care for mint any like I don't like mint smelling things when it's overpowering and for this to be a shampoo it was super conditioned and my hair did not feel dry but but again this video is about what am i gonna take into 2021 like am i actually going to spend some coin on this product again out of all of the shampoos that i could possibly purchase let me think for a second. Obviously, y'all know how I feel about Canvas Beauty and I really, really love their products. This conditioner, though, I think, was I a fan? Was it? Ooh. Y'all, I'm going to put my eye out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not doing that again. Mm -mm. I almost blinded myself. Oh, no. I have a really, really keen sense of smell. And when I smell certain things, it brings back memories like I will remember my experiences. So that's why I talk about scent so much. So you'll see me smelling each one of them and this makes me remember my wash days and it's a yes for me. I just remember how easy it was for me to detangle. It definitely has a lot of slip. My hair absolutely loves it. And the scent isn't my favorite, but it's okay. So put this over here. So back to this two in one conditioning shampoo. Overall, I just don't think that this was a good wash day. That's why I didn't do it. Again, these are ones that I would purchase again and spend my coin on. And I am going to say there are better shampoos out here. So, moving right along. We're going to grab here and here and here. This is the Pure Aloe Vera Shampoo. It's a clarifying shampoo from Curl Mix. Then I have the True Balance Hair Care Tropical Delight Conditioner. As y'all can see, I have used a great deal of this product. So y'all probably already know how I feel about that. And then I have the Raw Sugar Bounce Back 
shampoo I'm not even gonna leave y'all in uh, suspense this true balance conditioner hands down this one here has become one of my faves uh, great slip I really feel like my hair is moisturized and hydrated I actually believe I've used this without going in with a deep conditioner because I was able to go right in with a styler after this and my hair felt amazing and it was hydrated the entire week. Yeah. The clarifying shampoo is not a fave, but am I gonna repurchase it again? Yes, I will repurchase it. This was the Vanilla Berry fragrance and it is clarifying. So I did feel like my hair was kind of stripped the shampooing experience was a really nice and pleasant experience for me like I really enjoyed it and then as I was rinsing the shampoo out I could feel that it was a little drying but then of course I went in with the conditioner I also love that it's made with aloe vera juice y'all know how much I love aloe vera y'all know how I've been talking about aloe vera for the last couple of months so overall I just feel like their entire line I really enjoyed it I don't know if I'll, I would buy all of them yet. I gotta think about it, you know, but but for sure the shampoo, it's gonna make it in the 2021 pack. And we have the Bounce Back Shampoo from Raw Sugar. Y'all, I think this is one of my faves. It is definitely going to make it to 2021 and is one that I praise and my hair absolutely loves it. I did a review on this back in February right at the beginning of the year I believe or might have been in January and I have been using this shampoo religiously so whenever I get an opportunity to just wash my hair and I'm not filming a video this has been the shampoo that I typically go to. I highly recommend anybody that is looking for some moisture, looking for your hair to feel clean, but is also looking for like your curls to be like restored and like really popping. Like I feel like this makes my curls pop. Trust and believe me, this right here is a winner and y'all need to check it out. Watch my review. Definitely check that review out because that was probably my favorite wash day too of 2020. Like... And that was before the pan pandemic. It's just all good vibes from that whole experience. Moving right along, the next product that was um, a product that I tried this year was the Tropical Delight Moisturizing Shampoo by True Balance. This product is going to be making it on my 2021 list. I for sure will be repurchasing this. I really love the scent of that sh um, shampoo and that shampoo did give me a lot of slip. I do remember actually being able to detangle my hair thoroughly with that shampoo before I even got to the conditioner. So I just, I just feel like it's a whole vibe like I really like True Balance for sure. Next up, this is one that I did a video on, but I never posted it. <laughs> and the reason why I never posted it is that after I recorded the video, I realized how much I didn't like this product. And I was just like, I don't want to post it. I don't want to share it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I see it. Oh, wait, I don't have the clips anymore. I was going to say I still have the clips if y'all want to want me to post it. But I lie. I don't have them anymore. I lost all of my files. So I don't have any clips from this video that I did record. But it was just average. Maybe even below average. Like, my hair did not feel hydrated. Oh, and I didn't even tell y'all. This is their hibiscus water conditioner. Sorry. And it was lackluster. My hair did not feel hydrated. My hair... It just didn't feel like it was conditioned. I I believe I had to go in back in with some other conditioner after I used this. So, needless to say, it ain't making it on the 2021 list. Then we got Diva Curl No Poo Original. This was like a co-wash that I used to use, and I stopped using Diva Curl because I felt like it was damaging my hair. So if y'all have not heard about like all of the bad press that Diva Curl has been getting or got earlier this year, definitely just Google it and you will see. Like there are groups on Facebook about Diva Curl. And to be honest with y'all, since I stopped using this, my hair has been flourishing. And this is the longest my hair has ever been. This is the healthiest my hair has been since I was like a kid. So needless to say, no poo ain't got no room in 2021. It's a no for me. Well, as y'all can see, I have another Diva Curl product and it really ain't much to talk about because like I already said, 
I don't mess with Diva Curl anymore, but this was their One Condition Original Daily Cream Conditioner. I did love it at one point in time. At least I thought my hair was loving it, but we have parted ways and just don't rock no more, you know? Okay, moving right along. Both of these are by Natural Club. This is Natural Club's original avocado conditioner. And then this is their new shampoo with avocado and kiwi. And might I add that their new packaging compared to the old one, like I really love. They they really they they upgraded themselves. Like you could tell, like this look like money. Like this look like y'all making some money now. I could tell y'all was making money here. Now y'all was making money because y'all definitely are high. It's a pretty penny. Not gonna act like it isn't. They are expensive. Um that's probably the only con, but it ain't about that. It's about whether or not I would spend the coin. And we're going to say yes to both of these. I am going to be bringing both of these into 2020. What am I? Oh, wait, no. As I think about it, wait a minute now. As I smell it, the memories come back. This shampoo is $18 by itself. It is a hard no. I don't know how I feel about supporting black owned businesses, but baby. It is a no. Wash was good. My hair seemed relatively clean, but that's too much. It's too much money. Mm. Mm. My coin is precious in 2021. Okay. But their original avocado conditioner, I wish y'all could see, <laughs> but it's literally like this much of this conditioner left. I absolutely love this conditioner. My hair has tons of slip. My hair feels super moisturized when I use it. Y'all know their products are obviously it's black on. Just mentioned that self sulfate free, paraben free, silicone free. Um, I just really love the you know the story about how a natural um, club came about and. Um, it does exactly what I'm looking for. I'm always looking for my conditioners to help me with detangling and it does that. The new line, I really like their scent a lot better, but it's not a bad scent. It's definitely very natural, hence the name natural. So it is what's make it on my 2021 list. Moving right along. So we got some Emerge and we got some Canvas Beauty. And we're going to take um, Chocolate Kinks and Curls. We'll start with this one. So this is their Four Naturals line that was created. And it's not happening sulfate free shampoo. I will say that I really love the packaging. I really loved the play on words for all of the like names of their products. I did like that. But if I remember correctly. Because I got a good memory once I smell it yeah it's a no <laughs> i'm not gonna take this into 2021 this is a shampoo and it's a cleansing and detangling shampoo which is infused with almond milk i tried this at the beginning of the year or did i try this last year i don't even remember but as y'all can see it's still at the top <laughs> so y'all can tell I didn't like it because I only used it that one time. I, it's very cheap. Um, I will tell you that it's economical if you want to give it a try. If I was just in hard times, even with hard times, I still wouldn't. Because it's only $7 and I still don't want to buy it again. But that's just my business. <sighs> Canvas Beauty Amplifying Shampoo. It's a shampoo that I would spend my coin on in the new year. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave this one in 2020. And not to say that I have not had great wash days with it, but I don't like this bubblegum scent. Their scent is, is bubblegum and it's so overpowering and I just never have liked it. I enjoy my wash days, but there are shampoos that are out there that smell pleasant. Much better than this that's going to give me the same effect of this wash day. And that's just that's what it is. So me personally... I'm going to leave this one in 2020. Now we have Chocolate Cakes and Curls Key Lime Truffle Shampoo Bar. And y'all, this was my very first shampoo bar that I've ever tried. I had never even heard of a shampoo bar before, y'all. But must I say that I really love shampoo bars now. Like, this is 
one of my faves and I really feel like I just love the application of it just applying it directly to my scalp and it's like so silky and smooth like at least for my hair it just goes on just it just feels good it's $12.50 but I think I got it on sale and it's definitely worth it because this bar lasts you forever. Hands down one of my faves and I really strongly suggest you guys to check out Chocolate Hinks and Curls. It is a black owned business. I will also leave my review up above for y'all to check that review out. So we don't have too much more to go. Then we have Chocolate Kinks and Curls aloha rose clay wash just let y'all know like this is the first time i've also ever used a clay wash and hands down really great um wash experience i feel like if you guys have done those bentonite clay toxifying washes on your hair this is just as good if not better because it actually it has a really nice sense it's already packaged ready for you to just go ahead and use it as y'all can see how much i have left about half of it and I, I don't use this every wash day right i used it maybe like three wash days and i still have a, a decent amount i am definitely going to go ahead and take this right on into 2021 and we have the follicle booster from canvas beauty this basically is going to help stimulate hair growth same as what onion juice does basically so i'm definitely taking this into 2021 i feel like the product it's kind of pricey, but Canvas Beauty has been having a lot of great sales, and you can stock up on this. Like, I am going to go ahead and put this in my 2021 list. And then I have my Bounce Back Conditioner. Their products are super moisturizing, and I, like I said, I really feel like it just revives your curls and it really gives your curls that bounce that it needs i really have never had any problems with detangling my hair when i use it again that's something that's important to me so without a shadow of a doubt it's one of my faves and of course it will be on the 2021 train choo choo and now we are to our final four products out of this two of these i will be taken into 2021 and two of them it's a whole no the first one that is going into 2021 is curl mix i told y'all i had a really good wash day with this I had tons of slip remember i told y'all that the shampoo was slightly stripping and once i went in with the conditioner did not have to use a lot Look, i still have so much left y'all that's great because like I said products are expensive you want to not have to use a ton of products to do whatever the product's supposed to do for your hair like the amount of money and how much product you actually have to apply it is a win for me and it is going to make it on the 2021 list the next one that is going to make it on the 2021 list is Moolah Moisture Galore Shampoo. I had so much fun when I filmed this wash day. Although I only use this product once, this might be an honorary mention that makes it onto my fave list. Really, really thought that this one was very hydrating. Obviously, I love Canvas Beauty. There you have it. These last two here, which um, would be the Galore Conditioner from Canvas Beauty and then the Maui Moisture Shampoo. Told y'all that was a really bad wash day for me. It did absolutely nothing for my hair and I did not like them at all. I know a lot of people talk about they love Maui Moisture, but I'm just not a fan. Lackluster at best. So it is a whole no for me and then the canvas beauty i did not like the scent and i told you how i feel about it i have to smells and scents like their experiences to me and if your scent is so overpowering regardless of what you know your product is doing like i can find a product that's going to do the same exact thing i mean there's only so many ingredients like all of these products have they have the same stuff in them so the only real difference that you're going to really find is the scent should have great slip if you're using a conditioner this i feel like it had great slip but I don't like it. It stank. <laughs> it actually it doesn't. But it just don't smell good to me. Like I don't want that on my hair. Like, These are my 2021 shampoos and conditioners that I will be using. My part two of Leave Them in 2020 will be featuring Leave In Conditioners and Deep Conditioners. So make sure you have your notification bell on. And that's it. As always, I'm a little different and different is love. See y'all in the next one.